In this video, we're gonna take you on a tour of a World War II era tugboat, Tug Liddington Parked in Kewanee, Wisconsin. our YouTube channel. If you're new around here, make sure to smash that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Here we mainly talk about all things Southern Utah and all things real estate, but today's video is a little bit unusual. We ran across this World War II era tugboat that was used by the US Army in the D-Day in the invasion of Normandy. This boat was used to tug communion boats across English Canal. This boat was built in 1943. Tug Liddington. Back to our YouTube channel. Today we are aboard a 1943 tugboat that's currently docked in Keani, Wisconsin. And uh, I'm taking you on a tour of this 1943 piece of US Army machinery. It's so cool. I guess it goes all the way up. Cool is that? 1943. Careful. Ooh. Don't don't swipe your head on these all these webs. Dude, 1943. Like this thing existed since the World War II. How cool. And it's still like seaworthy. Sleeping quarters. You can go down there. Look, it's like a jail cell. Got a little fan. Oh, and you can get into. Oh, it's a 50 cal. Look, another bed. Wow, that's so sick. Can't really see much from there, but. Cool. Oh, hey. Don't put your hand on. Here's your towel. It's been vacant for a minute. Arr. <laughs> oh, you can speak all the way down into the engine room through this thing. I don't know if you can hear me down there. <laughs> Mic check. Let's go down in the engine room. What's in that other room? Is that sleeping quarters as well? Another bunk with a sink, no toilet. Let's continue our tour. This 50 cal is impressive. It's a compass. Her mom's coming. She's coming. Careful, this is really steep. So there's more sleeping quarters, a little window. A sink, no toilet. It's 
scuba diver, Chief Sky. I think we can go all the way down into the engine room on this side. That's the crew quarters below. Man, this thing goes forever. So there's more crew quarters. The John. There's cobweb everywhere. And now we're in the engine room. Gyro compass. That is so cool. Smells like diesel fuel down here. Look at the size of this engine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cylinder. I don't know how many litters, but just look at the size of these freaking rocker arms. This thing is massive. It's like four stories of never ending. Four stories of engine. Mm -hmm. Some people's full time job is to just work in here. To maintain this engine, yeah. I'm sure that it was reliable. And this is just the size of the generator. So this provides powder, power to this thing. This is a couple of generators. This is 1940s. This is like World War II technology. Now it's converted to a high voltage system. Actually, this high voltage system was all original. This is so cool. You guys didn't think we we're going to bring you a, a World War II ship tour on this channel, did you? Look at all the original tools well, cool. they have pictures that where they used go. to be here. But did you think they really had pictures of where they were? Oh, yeah, 100%. That's cool. It's a U.S. military ship, so everything had to be organized. And now you could have a couple of screwdrivers. That's it. There's another engine, maybe a sump pump of some kind. Oh, maybe you really could talk to the engine room. Look, this is this is where I was speaking into upstairs. Are you sure? Yeah, that's the com. Whoa, this huge bell. If it works, don't fix it. <laughs> and apparently you could operate it right from the um, from the engine room. You could put it in a full sand. Oh, these are so steep. Yeah, they go pretty much straight up. Let us know what you guys think about this tour in the comments below.